You may be digging through some old photos only to find that an image very important to you has been torn. Or perhaps there is a drawing or a vandalism on an image that you wish to remove electronically. These defects are similar in that they are thin and can be removed through a technique called image inpainting, a process which uses surrounding image information in order to repair damaged regions. After selecting a damaged image, a mask is then needed to isolate a region for repair. This mask can either be prepared ahead of time with software such as Adobe Photoshop or created on the spot in MATLAB. A first time user of our algorithm using the MATLAB interface took just over a minute to circle the region they wanted to repair. Both methods can be time consuming, but better results were produced when generating the mask more precisely in Photoshop. Next, the masked regions of the image are cleared of their image information before they enter an iterative process. In this process, a blurring kernel is used on the entire image. This kernel takes a weighted average of the pixels it covers, basically blurring the outside color information into the masked region. These new blurred values replace image information in the masked regions of the input image. This process will either go as many times as specified or until further iterations will not improve the quality of the output image. Because this algorithm only considers a very local region of pixels, it works well in the thin tears, creases, and lines as demonstrated in these examples. This particular inpainting algorithm proved unsuccessful when attempting to remove large areas from an image such as this figure. When assessing the ability to remove the letters from the box, the algorithm performed well on uniform areas such as the background, but struggled over sharp image edges. Specifically, the original text on the box is blurred with the background. Therefore, when designing a mask, it would be beneficial to isolate high contrast edges so as not to blur unwanted areas together. However, the results of this algorithm are significant improvements to the damaged images.